I'm just going to be doing an inventory snapshot just so I can look back in the future at how my inventory has changed over time and also my thoughts on my inventory at the time. I've got a Star Trek Factory New Glock 18 off-world. I bought it with these Art Hollow stickers. They go between blue and yellow, which color match with the gun very well. And then it also has a bit of purple in there, which is a very nice accent color. I'd normally have the USP equipped, but I do probably like the P2000 craft more. The Star Trek Factory New P2000 turf with these NIP Paris hollows. They go between green and white, which match the skin very well. And also a bit of blue, which is a very nice accent color. I've got a minimal wear USP road rash, and I purchased this one because of the optic gaming stickers. The hollow effect goes between green and blue, which are also the colors on the actual weapon itself. I've got a Star Trek minimal wear CZ Tacticat. I bought these because of how well the actual stickers match on the gun. That's about it. I've got a field tested Deagle Ocean Drive. I like the neon colors and I applied the rush stickers because it matches those colors and it looks great in idle as well. But mainly I like this Deagle because it comes from the Riptide collection and I probably just want to hold on to that one. I bought this one with the liquid stickers already on it because of how the liquid stickers go between blue and orange and how they look on the weapon. Probably the most personal Deagle to me is the Star Trek Friction New Deagle Bronze Deco. I applied OC and SDY gold autograph stickers and put them next to each other to make my game attack. Got a Star Trek Fetch New P2000 Cyber Shell. I wanted a red slash blue P250 setup, and these Bad News Eagle Hollows look great on this skin as they both have these red lines on them. My blue one for CT side is the Valence. I bought it with these Cloud9 MLG stickers on it. What was really good is that I found this for pretty much market price on Steam. Got a Star Trek Factory New MAC 10 Oceanic. I applied these Cloud9 papers on it. The blue swells work really well with each other. That's about it. I've got a Fash New MP5 agent. I applied these Navi Paris hollows. The hollow effect going between blue and yellow is just perfect. Kind of wish I crafted this on a Star Trek Factory New though. I've got a Star Trek Factory New MP7 Urban Hazard. Orange and cyan are my favorite colors, so I went with orange for this one. I thought bright orange glitters worked much better than a hollow for this craft. I've got a Faction New MP7 Anodized Navy. The blue yellow look pretty nice together and Navi are my favorite team. So I wanted to have another weapon in support of them. I've got a Star Trek Faction New MP9 Modest Threat. The gray on the end stickers match the skin perfectly and the glitter adds a little bit of, you know, spice to what is normally a pretty bland skin. I've got a Star Trek Faction New Nova XO. I currently find what stickers would really work well with this one. So the best I could find is these 9Z Rio stickers. Faction New XM Entombed. Yeah, the boys. I've got a Millware AK-47 Asimov. I unboxed this one. And I just applied these Fnatic Hollows as they go between orange, black, and white, which looks great on the Asimov. I've got a Millware Legion of Anubis. I pretty much only got this one because of how well the Stockholm Vitality Hollows actually look in this one. I do like the Egyptian theme, but I don't really like to play with this one. I've got a Faction New Safety Net. This one is pretty low float. It is orange. Again, favorite color. I actually preferred how the autograph stickers from Fnatic looked on this one rather than the base fanatic one so that's why I did that. I've got a Star Trek Nowhere Elite build. I got this one with the stickers applied. I essentially got it because of the orange and blue accents. I also just wanted a Star Trek AK as all of my other ones aren't. I've also got a Faction New Baroque Purple. It's okay looking. I mainly got this because it's in the Canals collection and these stickers do look good on it which is just a bonus. I unboxed this Faction New Org Momentum and then I just crafted it with these color matching stickers. The cyan looks really good with my gloves but to be honest I never use this weapon. The orps are what matter most to me. I am an orper so I've got a Star Trek field tested orp redline. I bought it with these stickers applied and I do like one of the OG skins. I did have one back in the day and then sold it price increase and whatever and I wanted a T and CT side Star Trek skin so this is my most recent orp and I got this as low float field tested as I could so it didn't look too scratched. I've got a Star Trek middle wear orp with I saw this one on the market and I just loved how well the stickers work with both the theme and the color. It adds some orange accents, which make the skin look a bit nicer in my opinion. I got a Faction New Black Nile, mainly because it looks really nice with these old NIP logos. That's about it. I also have this field tested Sun in Leo. Got it at the lowest float field tested as possible, mainly just because it's in the Gods and Monsters collection. I probably won't ever use this gun to play with. I got a Star Trek Faction New for Master Survivor Z. Don't really use the FAMAS, but had this one and go. 
This faction ukulele, I put a surfs up sticker because it looks great on the wave and I like surfing, like the CSGO surfing. I've got a faction ukulele gold fusion. I really like the cyan color and this was also a really cheap craft, both the skin and stickers. So that's why I did that one. I unboxed this minimalware M4A4 living in color and then just chucked on some bright neon stickers which work perfectly with this gun. I've got a Star Trek fuel tested mech industries. I applied these orange glitter apex stickers to kind of trick my brain into thinking the red parts of the mech industries are actually more orange than they are and I also do like the sticker placement as well. My old M4A1 is a night terror which I still think looks great. The battle scar makes it look really purple which matches perfectly with the boom RMR hollows. I I have a Star Trek Faction News Scout Turbo Peak. Honestly, not a huge fan of how this looks, but I will hold on to it due to its collection being riptide. The Faction News Scout Spring Twilly, I got it in really low float, and these North Berlin hollows do look really nice on this weapon. My favorite scout is my Faction News Scout Threat Detected. I bought it with these stickers applied. I don't really like how there's a gold fanatic sticker on it. I do really like the hollows. I might eventually scrape that. And then finally, my knife glove combo. I've got the overprint hand wraps and the shadow daggers tiger two. I really wanted a cyan orange combo and this is the best I could do fitting within my budget. I'm holding out hoping that Valve eventually releases.